Which ones are which? Nikes, Yeezys, Jordans, and Jordans. How does the sneaker industry function as a stock market? Only well, 23 of these have been made. Stuff. And you get all this in the box over on StockX. I'm Josh Luber, CEO over at StockX. What are you looking for in terms of sneakers tonight? TV. I'm here with Eminem to pick up shoes for the charity auction on StockX. I'm here with Eminem too. There's, you know, the ones, the threes, the fours, the elevens. Those are shoes that I remember as a kid being like, those are amazing, those are incredible. I got my Yeezys, got my NMDs, I wore the shit out of these too. StockX and Eminem partnered for a hurricane relief campaign, and we raised almost $450,000. So you gotta get those. You don't have a pair of Jordans, you gotta get those. $52,000. These are via stock X, right? Most important sneaker in shoe wear history. It's crazy to see that something like sneakers can have this type of an effect. We've launched watches, handbags, and streetwear. What if there was a stock market of things? Hold up. What the f is a sneaker stock market? Can you guys hear me on this mic? Yeah, we're good. All right, so um, what the fuck is a sneaker stock market? A better question, right, is what is a stock market of things? Because the reason that we are here talking is about the business model. It's not about sneakers. We are the largest marketplace in the world for authentic sneakers and streetwear. Shoes that have high demand, Nikes, Jordans, Yeezys, Supreme. Shoes that retail for a few hundred dollars and then resell for a few thousand. And yeah, we sell a lot of sneakers. But saying StockX is just about sneakers is like saying Uber's just about rides. It's true, but a lot of people sell rides and a lot of people sell sneakers. The real value is in changing the way that people buy and sell rides and sneakers and really all consumer goods. We are a consumer goods marketplace. Think eBay. We're an evolution of eBay. All we do is connect buyers and sellers for the purpose of buying and selling consumer goods. But the way that we do that is the exact same way that the world's stock markets connect buyers and sellers. And there's a lot of nuance to that, and it's genuinely complicated. But at its core, it's about the concept of true market value, right? The idea that there's a single market price in both sides, buyer and seller, can transact across that market price whenever they want. That's powerful. Think about it. If you are selling or buying a share of Nike stock on the New York Stock Exchange, you feel confident that the price you're paying is fair because you know it's the function of tens of thousands of people all negotiating at the same place at the same time with a live bid-ask market to surface one single market price for that stock. Compare that to eBay where the price that you pay is whatever one seller is trying to get for it or whatever one buyer is willing to pay. Right? If you search for the shoes that I'm wearing on eBay, you will get 1,000, 2,000 listings. And then you have to decide, do I buy from this guy, that guy? Why is this one $700? Why is that one $800? How many reviews does this person have? Why is there a cat in the picture? But if you buy a share of Nike stock on the New York Stock Exchange, there's not thousands of people saying, buy my Nike stock, buy my Nike stock. No, there's one ticker symbol for Nike. And every bid and every ask happen at that same place. And there's one single market price for Nike stock. That's what we're doing for consumer goods. And it does genuinely leave some people saying, what the fuck's a sneaker stock market? But fortunately for us, you don't have to know how the stock market works in order to use it. Here's how we explained it in the beginning to our first customers. So, you want to buy a pair of black Seaman 3s, huh? water. a real pair, and you want the best price? Where do you even start? Here's a thousand auction listings. Take two energy drinks and call me in the morning. How do I even know if the shoe is real? What's a fair price for it? And if I have a problem, is the seller going to even take care of me? Oh, yeah. A sneaker is a commodity. It should be dead simple to buy a dead stock pair. 
Welcome to Stock X, an actual stock market for sneakers. It's actually a stock market of things. At Stock X, a transaction occurs when a bid and then ask me. A buyer wants to buy a size 10 black seaman. He submits a bid, the price he's willing to pay. Now the entire world knows there's a legit offer because it's tied to his PayPal account. He can go about his day in confidence knowing that if someone is selling for 550, no cop. Is that a fing daiquiri? Yeah, bro. A seller has a size 10 black cement. She can place an ask or a listing for sale. If she sees someone that has placed a bid for 550, she can sell it immediately. With two clicks, done deal. Am I the only one not drinking a beach drink? But how do I know if these are real? Hassan, come on. Really? What? Every pair of sneakers sold on stock X passes through our trading floor. With dudes who look like James Harden, make sure you never get scammed ever again. Now that's a legit check. The only thing more legit would be if dudes who look like Wale come in and do the voiceovers. So that was the rapper Wale with the voiceover. That was the comedian Hassan Minaj with the cameo. The guy with the beard uh, is a sneaker YouTube star named Fomer Simpson. This was our launch video. This has been phenomenal. It's got over 12 million views. It's won all sorts of awards. We run a version of this on TV, actually, too. And it does a good job talking about the what, right? That we sell sneakers, they're authentic, the bit ass, but it doesn't talk about the why. It doesn't talk about why a stock market is a better form of commerce. And there's a lot of reasons why, but if you choose one at the highest level of order, it's the stock market changes the mechanism of selling. It changes how people sell things. It creates what we call a concept of sell now. We're all familiar with buy now or buy, right? And the entire e-commerce, all commerce, the buyer has the choice. The seller says, I'm selling this widget for $100. Do you want to buy it, yes or no? And then the buyer has the choice. In only the actual stock market can the seller also sell immediately and transact across a market price. Right? Think about it. If you are selling a share of Nike stock on the New York Stock Exchange, right? you don't go list it for sale and hope someone comes and buys it. No, you go to the market. Nike's trading at $72 and you sell it immediately. Right? That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist for consumer goods until now. So what we're doing is we're literally using the concept of live bid-ass market and true market pricing the exact same way that the world's stock markets work and applying that to consumer goods to make it as easy to sell a share, uh, to sell a, share, a pair of Nikes as it is to sell a share of Nikes. And that's powerful. So with that, let's talk about growth. This is a picture of my daughter. She grows. God willing, she'll continue growing. She's sitting in my sneaker closet. That'll continue growing. StockX is based in Detroit, Michigan, United States of America. We launched in February of 2016. We now have 530 full-time people. We just hit a billion dollar run rate, GMV. And by the end of Q2, we'll probably be at about 1,000 people and 2 billion. Because this is about the model, right? We're fortunate to sell the most coveted products in the world. Nikes, Jordans, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Rolex, Supreme. But it's about the model. For lack of a less cliche way of saying it, a stock market of things is truly revolutionary. Like this genuinely doesn't exist anywhere except the actual stock market. And that's the best part, right? We didn't make this up. The stock market has been the most efficient form of commerce for hundreds of years. And all we did was point it at these commodities, stocks and bonds and oil and gas, to these, to sneakers and streetwear and watches and handbags. And it works. The hypothesis works that this would be a better way to buy or sell these commodities. But the way that the business grows is two ways. So one, like any other traditional multi-vertical marketplace, eBay, Amazon, we'll continue to add other product categories. And there's a lot of categories we can continue to add and sell them around the world. We actually, three weeks ago, just had our European launch, opened up our headquarters, our European headquarters in London. We have four authentication centers around the world. We physically authenticate every single product. So we have authentication centers in London, Tempe, Detroit, and New York. But the really interesting way that this business grows is that we can start working with brands to become an alternate retail marketplace, to become an alternate primary market, to literally IPO consumer goods into existence. 
it's a single market that brings together primary and secondary. That's what a stock market is, right? An IPO happens of Facebook stock into the New York Stock Exchange, and that same market continues to trade it. And we've done some of these. So last January, Nike released LeBron James' first retro sneaker. This was a very highly coveted you know, shoe that had never come out before. And Nike sold this on StockX first before any other retail channel. This is before Nike.com or Foot Locker. And it was a true IPO. It was a Dutch auction. It cleared the lowest price. This was on the homepage of the New York Times. And the reason it was on the homepage of the New York Times is because it was a huge deal about Nike going direct to the secondary market. But what happened after that was everything. After the IPO cleared, there were some people that wanted to resell these shoes. And we let them resell it without ever taking possession. So we literally created day trading in consumer goods. This is like oil futures, gold, like true commodities trading. And we don't do that at scale yet, but we will. But we absolutely will. And everything that happens within a stock market, every financial transaction, shorts and futures and indices and fractional shares, like all of that happens now with sneakers and watches and handbags and, and all consumer goods. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So if you run into 50 Cent and he asks you what a fuck a sneaker stock market is, now you know. All right.